Hi YouTube. Um, I just wanted to give you a um, update, kind of, of where we're at in appeals court. Um, we, I'm just going to talk about the transcripts that we're requesting. Okay, and there is quite a bit of paperwork that was involved with trying to get these transcripts. Okay, so again, for educational purposes, just wanted to give you an idea of what it takes to go through the court process here. Okay, so back in June of 2023 here, um, earlier this summer, we have a scheduling um, briefing schedule from the United States Courts of Appeal for the Eighth Circuit. And within the letter it has in that bottom paragraph there, it says that the court will consider the case on the original file of the district court and you do not need to file any additional record materials. If a transcript is required, you should file a motion with this court seeking preparation of a transcript at government expense. Right there. Okay, at government expense, just motion to that court if we need transcripts. Now, in our briefings and other documents that we have filed, we have talked numerous times about how the 7th District Court um, discriminated us, was biased, was prejudiced, um, did not allow us a hearing, um, did not grant us default when it should have been granted. Um, so we wanted the five transcripts of our hearings from 7th District Court to be mailed to us because we are the subject of that data and it was a public hearing. And we wanted those five hearing transcripts sent to the United States Court of Appeals. Okay, so... We filled out the motion papers, filed filed motion to request five transcripts. Okay, so we did that. That was along with uh, that was quite a bit of paper there. Okay, so we filed that. Then we got. Uh, judgment, order, whatever, from the United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit. And at the bottom of the order, it says, Appellant's motion for pre preparation of transcripts at government expense is denied. Transcripts of state court proceedings must be made to the state court. Okay. So we'll make that to the... We also, well, as you can see... We sent it to the state court, Morrison County Courthouse, okay? It's right on the motion. We did send it to them. Okay, then from Morrison County, we got this. There's actually two of them. One's for me and one's for Mike. It talks about that um, our... Our request is not frivolous, um, and this evidence material is necessary to the case, so they, the judge checked that one. Um, supplemental order for proceeding in formal papyrus has been signed for the co-plaintiff, allowing transcript costs for both would be duplicative. So she's trying to say that because on this other one, <clears throat> on mine, it says the claim is not frivolous and that um, in order to adequately prepare Present, decide an issue presented by this action is necessary to obtain a transcript of the hearing trial or deposition held on June 30th. 
other transcripts from the hearings are not necessary. It doesn't say why the other ones are not necessary, okay? So they're releasing, Morrison County is releasing one of the transcripts, the June 30th transcript of our hearing with Gail T. Kulik. The judge that signed this, we didn't know for sure who that was, so we called Morrison County and asked, and it was Kulik herself who... Um, release the transcript for the June 30th hearing with her. Okay, so they're denying the other four transcripts because that would show bias and prejudice and discrimination that Mahler and Weiler did. And so they're not releasing that, um, but they don't say why. Okay, so we got that from Morrison County. Um, the next thing that we did was, because we know that that's not right, that they need to release all five of the transcripts, we filed a data practices complaint form with the state of Minnesota Office of Administrative Hearings. Okay. This was on Kim Peterson. We're not releasing the transcript since she's the court administrator at this time. Anyway, they keep changing employees. And I just wanted to read this one part of it. Um, we did talk about why a trans the transcripts were required to be released to us under Chapter 13 of Minnesota Statutes um, Data Practices Act. But there's also something else we found, and we'd like people to know about this. It is the Constitution of the State of Minnesota, Article 1, Bill of Rights, Section 1. Government is instituted for the security, benefit, and protection of the people, in whom all political power is inherent, together with the right to alter, modify, or reform government whenever required by the public good. Section 8. Redress of injuries or wrongs. Every person is entitled to a certain remedy in the laws for all injuries or wrongs, which he may receive to his person, property, or character, and to obtain justice freely and without purchase, completely and without denial, promptly and without delay, conformable to the laws, the Office of Administrative, Administrative Hearings Complaint Form states a $1,000 filing fee is required. We have been granted in form of papyrus, specifically for the release of the transcripts by the district judge. According to the Minnesota Constitution, we will file this complaint to obtain justice without purchase. Section 13, private property shall not be taken, destroyed, or damaged for public use without just compensation. Therefore, first paid or secured. If our property, recorded hearings of us, are not provided, and if they have been damaged or destroyed, compensation must be provided to us. Okay, so we talked about that. Um, I jumped ahead a little bit. Um, after we sent in the complaint form there, um, we got a letter from the Office of Administrative Hearings, and it says that um, the statute requires that each complainant be accompanied by a filing fee of $1,000. Are you serious? Okay, YouTube. It says in the Constitution of Minnesota that we can redress government without purchase. State of Minnesota, Minnesota Office of Administrative Hearings, is trying to charge people $1,000 just to file a complaint. Just a data practices complaint. They want to charge you $1,000. $1,000 goes to them, and there's no guarantee that they're going to do anything with your complaint. Okay? So, we are trying to waive that $1,000 fee. And we're in form of papyrus, like I said, we already qualified for that. Okay. 
Once we sent in this last thing that I read to you about um, that um, the debt practices complaint form and that we are not required to file that $1,000 fee, um, then we got a notice of docket activity. So there was a document filed and that was our data practices complaint form. And it was filed on 9-5-23. Okay, so they filed it in court saying that they acknowledge that we have asked for the transcript. Um, <clears throat> The last thing we did, because it says if you do not have that $1,000 fee, it says you may also pursue your claim in district court or request an advisory opinion from, okay, sorry, advisory opinion from the commissioner of the Department of Administration at no cost. Okay, so... We made a request for an advisory opinion from the commissioner, and we sent that in. Okay, and that's where we are so far. Um, we, after we sent in all this paperwork, okay, now... We started this process to try to get these transcripts, the first four transcripts, um, in March of 2023, okay, about eight months ago, probably. So we started that process. Um, after that, after we sent in all this paperwork and complained about the fees and about that it this data belongs to us, um, Judge Kulik, who is out of Mille Lacs County, her court reporter emailed us and said that they have a transcript for us because they never released even that one transcript yet. We're asking for five. She said she'd release one of them, and she never even released that one. So we called their office and asked, where is that one transcript anyway? And the other transcripts are our property. So we demand that you release those too. So their court, Mille Lacs County court reporter emailed us and said that they will have that one transcript ready for us by December 28th. Okay, that's way beyond the timelines. They're trying to delay this. And uh, they're not doing it um, lawfully. So um, I'll let you know where we're at at that next step then. Um, after all of this BS, we put in, we motioned for an injunction. And I'll talk about that next in our next video. Thanks for watching.